Welcome to our video devotion for today, April the 12th, 2017. It's Wednesday, and we are in a discussion in our video devotions with Covenant Keeper Ministries on Psalm 119. We are taking our time walking through these verse by verse so we might gain an understanding of God's Word and hunger and thirst for more of it. Today we are in Psalm 119, verse 8, and it says this, I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. Have you ever been desperately alone? I recall a time when I was a 10-year-old and was Christmas shopping with my mother in downtown Denver. It was just my mom and I. She had instructed me to stay at this certain counter in this department store. But you know how boys are. Something caught my eye, and I was off. I don't know how long it was, but I found my way back to the counter, and my mother was nowhere to be found. Now, I must admit that I was off in the pain to my mom, and immediately one of those crazy, panicky thoughts crossed my 10-year-old mind. Stimulated by my guilt and rebellion toward her and my behavior, I thought she must have just got fed up with me and abandoned me. I thought she just went off and left me in this huge crowd of thousands of people in downtown Denver just before Christmas. The entire, entire downtown was filled with shoppers, and I thought, where is my mom? And I thought, oh, maybe she went back to the last store we were in. So I rushed out to the sidewalk and hurried back to a store two stores down, ran all over in that store, no mom anywhere. She wasn't going to be found there. And I thought, wow, I better get back to the other store, see if she's in the store where I was supposed to stay at the counter and hadn't done so. I ran into that store, pushed through the crowd, went to the counter, and there was my mother. There she was. She didn't even know I was missing. She had been trying on clothes in the fitting room. In those few moments, maybe 15 at the most, my fear was off of the charts. I was a forsaken lad and desperate at that. I want you to see this verse in that kind of light. David was pleading with God not to leave him to himself. In Isaiah 54, 8, the prophet Isaiah speaks about God telling him to say this, and it says this, in a surge of anger, I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness, I will have compassion on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. John Calvin interprets this verse in this manner. O oh God, thou sees my frame of mind, and as I am but a man, do not conceal too long from me the tokens of thy favor or defer helping me longer than is proper for me. Lest imagining myself to be forsaken of thee, I turn aside from the direct pursuit of godliness. You see, a link between the hope one finds in God and his statutes are inseparable. We are kept in hope because of God's righteous judgments. Those judgments are contained in his statutes. If God were to forsake us, we would have no reason to keep his statutes. And Jeremiah assists us here, the prophet, in chapter 15 and verse 16, we read these words, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. I'm going to keep God's statutes, and then I know that God won't forsake me. But if I'm left to myself, I believe I will not keep the statutes. So the call of the psalmist to us today is fervently keep God's statutes and hope will remain in you. Father, oh, help us today because we want hope. Our world's desperate for real hope and our hope is in you, Lord, maker of heaven and earth. And I ask you to help us keep your statutes and not forsake us as we put our trust in you. Thanks for the confidence we gain when we keep your statutes. Lord, put your blessing on our obedience. Amen. We're going to walk today keeping his commandments and plead with God to never forsake us. Have a blessed day.